Welcome back to Water Advisory. I'm your host, Danny. We're back. What? Just wait a second until Mom leaves so you can hear the door open close. Yeah, that was pretty solid. That was really good. <laughs> Welcome back to Water Advisory, the place that gives you options you can't drink the water. My name's Danny. I'm here with Jack, professional DM. Yeah. And it feels like it's been a year since I've been here. Yeah, since you're really... <laughs> we're not wearing the same clothes. It hasn't been 15 minutes. <laughs> I haven't seen you since the plague. Yeah. Oh, God. I knew someone was going to do that shit eventually. Good, good oh. idea. You are the first one to do it, though. So there you go. As always, we're here to try out a shit ton of beers. Most of these were given to us by... We will add her Instagram handle. Their Instagram handle's right here. Thank you for coming by and dropping these off. <laughs> and uh, hopefully these won't hurt too bad. Uh, I've had some of these before, personally, but uh, I think maybe only one of these. Uh, Highland Brewing's Gaelic Ale I have had, but it has been a while, so I can't really remember what it tastes like. Um, that one's out of Asheville. That's Asheville's first beer, but that's probably not too difficult to pull off. Um, Victory's Golden Monkey. I have had that. I will keep my comments to myself before we drink it. Uh, we got, was it Raging Bitch from, uh, it's a Flying Dog. Buyer beware. You get the cool artwork. Probably means it's bad. Um, and... <laughs> Michelob Ultras, organic seltzer, spicy pineapple. Mm. All right, you want to hear a boomer joke? Fucking, let's, let's do it. All right. Man, I didn't know they made my ex do a drink. <sighs> that does sound like a fucking boomer joke. That sounds like a guy who's even still married to the person he's talking about. Yeah, I was like, you, like you rude motherfucker. Like, what are you? <laughs> Man, who put my wife in a bottle? <laughs> oh. Oh. Shoot on that baby! Boom! That's Danny speak for. I'm not drunk enough for this shit. I will get there, man. Highland Brewery's Gaelic Ale. Yeah, I feel like a bit of a pretentious douche for uh, being like, yes, the color, but uh, like... Pretty dope color. <laughs> yeah, this, like they've all kind of been just, yeah. Our flagship is exceptionally balanced, malty sweetness, and delicately hops. <laughs> Family owned. Uh, independent since 1994. <laughs> it's not a very long time. <laughs> Uh, yeah, smells like smells like beer. It's very five point five percent alcohol, so pretty middle ground. Um, That's a little foam too. Slancha. It's definitely heavier than the previous previous ones we've yeah. had. It's pretty, uh, pretty standard fair beer. It's a little heavier though. What you said. Yeah. So I just not noticed every time we so, we uh you know the word is cheers essentially you change language. Pretty much. There's, there's too many good ones to go with. Yeah. I don't know enough though. I need to. I still need to pull up that list of like good cheers as it is to do. You can even got like I, I know I've done Klingon, which is fun. You technically did that incorrectly. I did, also did it incorrectly. What'd you do? He said a different. I was trying to point out one word and he said the other one. I don't know what he had said. I said the was, the usual one that everyone mistakes Kapla, which isn't necessarily the right one. No, yeah. it's not. Yeah, I know, but everyone always goes with that one because the other one's like a, a sentence, <laughs> a bit. So what is it? You know what it is. What is it? Give me that Klingon, motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck. I'm trying to remember it. I I watched so much Star Trek. I've watched literally every episode of every Star Trek. I'm a giant nerd. I can't remember it. Jessica, could you please look at that? Uh, Kaban is very much used as exultation. It's sometimes used as like a... Sometimes used as a greeting or a goodbye or... Kapla. Quark. Kapla to you too. Like... Let's do this kind of shit. Yeah. So it's fine to say, do you want a drink? Go ahead and say, kapla. I'm sure there's some real Klingon motherfuckers out there who know the language who would correct me on this. Here's the thing, though. Do I look like I fucking care? You yeah. fucking nerd? Yeah, man. They'd come out here with their fucking um, platform boots, put a the worst looking knife under a table, and challenge you to a fucking fight. I love the Klingons. I think their knives look fucking stupid. <laughs> I was just like, I was like, dude, we've got, there's better knives out there, designs. Use, I mean, use the bat look. Very cool. Yeah, I was, I was thinking about standing up, just be like, come on. I realized I'm immediately going to be out of frame. Yeah. Like, you don't know, you just, pretty cool though. Um, this is pretty dope with the, with the pretzels. Pretty standard, pretty standard, just heavier. It's not bad. I definitely want to turn one down if offered. But I feel it's not the kind of thing I'd buy for myself. It's got a, kind of a, bite to it like a little like act yeah. like a burn and i don't appreciate it if it didn't have that it'd be pretty fucking good but uh 
It's yeah, it's not bad. It's definitely not that fucking Kush four twenty shit we had. Yeah, but I, oh, yeah, not fantastic. I, I definitely when I when it hits the back of my throat, I feel like I hear bagpipes somewhere and uh, some Scottish motherfuckers angry yelling at me. Yeah. And throwing a fucking telephone pole. Guy walking down Skybo Road with the fucking bagpipes. I miss that guy. I wonder what ever happened to him. What is the like? I guess like a main antagonist that, or your favorite out of the antagonists that you've had. And to run, what's your favorite one out of the ones since you've been professionally uh, DMing? Mm. Uh, well, I had a few that I really liked. I'll give you my favorite two. Pretty mm. summarize up. We have one who is Geddon. His name is uh, Irma A. Geddon. I think, yeah. <sighs> of course, at this point, my players are all level 20. They're max, maxed out. They have all the magical items and abilities. They are basically demigods. So he is uh, embodying a literal god. Nice. And he has forced all the other gods away. And he is functionally and literally immortal. Oh, okay. yeah. Someone blasted a hole through his chest with lightning. He got back up. They tried disintegrating him. He came back. And they have to find the way to essentially stop him from doing that. They can't get rid of him. The other one, though, was a, uh, an NPC named who was created to be the edgiest character I've ever made. <laughs> Uh, he is a fallen ASMR, uh, warlock, hexblade. Uh, if you know what fallen ASMR is, ASMR are kind of like angels. A fallen ASMR is like an angel with skeletal wings. His name is Deus, and he wants to, uh, remove the gods. Was his ba basic introduction. But then, eventually, uh, they found out he didn't actually want to do that. He is actually, in truth, working for a holy order, investigating the cult of Geddon. <laughs> he nice. was a primary villain they came to, came up before that was. He was sort of like deep cover agent, essentially. <laughs> so they fought him a lot, and he tried, and uh, he mysteriously never actually dealt the killing blow, and gave him a lot of cryptic words and messages, and they couldn't quite figure it out. Until, eventually, they understood that he was on their side. Up next, we got Victory Brewing's uh, Golden Monkey, a Belgian style tri triple ale. They spell triple wrong, but it's fine. I'm not gonna. They probably use it with a British spelling. Nine point five percent alcohol, with added spice. He spelled triple wrong. And you just put the ad. it's E L instead of L A, but it's fine. No, is it, that's is it wrong? That's wrong. I do not believe you. That's hey. wrong. They, I don't know what's up with that. Like, if there's a, like, I assume there's one. Like, uh, Vex Nation either is, that's a different word, it's a different, maybe a weird spelling. Mystical flavors to enlighten you. Nose is loaded with Belgian yeast character of banana and clove with an equally fruity body balanced with a light earthy hop character. Savor notes of orange and spice followed by a dry finish. Malt Pilsner hops, Tentenang, and Brewmaster's approval. Uh, Bill and Ron. Okay. Hi. All right. I can really, kind of, I kind of can't smell that banana too. But banana and beer, it seems like uh. I've had a few that were fine, like they were actually pretty good, but it's really odd. I'm. It's a bold decision. Yeah, I'm never like, oh, let me grab a beer. Oh, let me get a, a fucking bunch of bananas to just wolf down. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bananas and beer seems like the worst thing. That's the worst. Time. worst. It'd be easy to throw up later. But oh, uh, yes. <laughs> okay, here we go. Mm. Oh, no. Immediately, no. Oh, I tried to be nice and to taste all of it. I did. It's fucking gross. <laughs> Ugh. I had it before and I knew it was bad, but like, I didn't think it was going to be that bad. It's, I remember. It's like weed 2.0. Oh, it sucks. It's banana flavored weed 2.0. I can't, <sighs> I can't tell you that flavor. That is, that's a nightmare. It's going to fucking chase her, that bitch. Uh, it's a, yeah, it's like a goddamn. Oh, it's on my gums. Wow. Uh. Um, the pretzel's cutting right through it. That's fucking handy. Ooh, it sucks. It's not good. None of the, like, all those things that I read off that I can't really remember, the orange, the fucking quote-unquote spice, clove, and banana, none of those tasted good. That combination of things was off. Oh, it's on my fucking tongue. Oh, it's real bad. Like, I, it's, I I've had some bad ones. This is pretty fucking bad. I can't finish that. That's... Would you like something easier? That's too bad. No. Oh. It's struggle, but still not enjoyable. 
My poor septic tank. I'm gonna pour that shit down there. Moving on, thank thankfully. Flying Dog Brewing. I got like that cool um, Hunter S. Thompson. I can't remember the artist that does his shit, but you've seen it all. You've passed by it in the uh, the fucking beer aisle. Raging Bitch Belgian IPA. India style pale ale. Two inflammatory words. One wild drink. Oh no, is it? Not? 8.3% alcohol, holy shit. Okay, so this is ramped up quite a bit. All right, fuck it, they got nothing else on here, so let's fucking... Does artwork make the beer taste good? We're finding out right now. For those of you at uh, home watching, uh, our lovely camera person just decided to put googly eyes on the camera for us, or a single one next to the camera. Why, I'm not sure, but... It's right. actually kind of handy. I know why she did it, but it kind of actually works pretty well. Because, like because if I'm sitting over here, he'll look at me when he's talking and not at the camera. And so the googly eye is a trick to pay attention to the camera lens. Oh, that's kind of gay. Ha! Gay! <laughs> <laughs> Half gay? Thank you. <laughs> it's all gay. What are you talking about? I can't tell if I'm still smelling the previous beer or if this is just this beer. Mine's rinsed out. It smells still. It smells like the same one, but a bit lighter. I'm not, I rinsed it. I rinsed them both a couple of times. <laughs> I'm not enthused about this one. No, it not doesn't hype. smell good. Kampai. I'm sorry, what? Kampai. It's Japanese. Oh. Oh. What'd you, what'd you think I said? You know damn well what I thought you said. We'll come back to that. Oh, so bad. It's somehow worse than the one before. Oh, what is that flavor? <laughs> I'll be honest, it only makes me, it tastes only really reminds me of one thing, and I don't want to say it. Oh, that was bad. There's nothing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go online and look up what the fuck this was supposed to taste like. I, I, I don't, this I, sucks. There's nothing I can say about that taste that isn't be intensely crass and disgusting. Do it. It tastes like sweaty pussy. I wouldn't even give. I wouldn't even give that to someone I hate. Yeah, I'd give him Golden Monkey. That's what I would give. I'd give him Golden <laughs> Monkey. I'm not giving him that thing though. Good oh, lord, this sucks. This is a terrible. It's like it's almost salty somehow on its own. It's like someone mashed a bunch of pretzels and let them sit in there with it. How's, it, how's the pretzels gonna do? All right, pretzels save me. I'm not enjoying the pretzels because of the flavor of the beer. Yeah, I feel like all the orcs at um, the Battle of Helm's Deep. When you Gandalf shows up. We're like, we were doing so well. <laughs> and then it's like, rip. Just in the end, that didn't matter. If you just got a shit ton of horses, then you're good to go. Just keep throwing horses at the, the problem. <laughs> you're good to go. God, that sucked. That really fucking sucks, and I can feel it. Like, the first one was bad, but, like, I can ignore it. Like, right now, I can feel... Maybe it's the combination of the two. But both of them in my gut, I can... I'm very aware of my, like, internal organs right now, and it's not fucking fun. It tastes like licking a gym... A public gym shower floor. Ugh! Yeah. Ugh! Yeah. These analogies are the worst, dude! You got the worst ones! I'm not wrong, though. <laughs> that's, the, that's the problem. No, no point of reference, but I'm gonna take your word. <laughs> oh god, I'm, I'm required to do one more because it's my show. Uh, yeah, that's on you, bud. I'm, I'm not doing that. God damn it! You have fun with that one. Oh, oh I get like, I guess it's, it's not as hard hitting if you're aware of what it's gonna taste like. Oh, it's on my teeth. It's oh. Still Pretty bad. It's fucking awful. I'm gonna burn both of these glasses. No one should ever drink this. Uh, uh, two extremely bad beers in a row. That's not a good sign. And of course, Michelob Ultras are nice there for four wrapping this up on. Which I don't like Michelob anything. Organic seltzer, spicy pineapple. What the fuck does that mean? Satan's asshole. Yeah. Uh, zero sugar, 80 calories, zero carbs. Thank God. Because the the carb would have been taste terrible. Yes, uh, USDA organic, 4% alcohol, so on the low end of the spectrum. <laughs> Six times filtered. Why? Why would you do that? 
Uh, highest quality of organic ingredients. Refreshingly unexpected flavors. Unexpected? I expect pineapple. Fucking what? <laughs> and spicy, I guess? I don't know. I don't fucking understand. God, please be good. Please be fucking good. <laughs> Pours like a Sprite. No, oh, no, if you ever want like a solid Star Trek reference, here's a better option. Mm -hmm. uh, this is featured in two episodes of Star Trek. One in the original series, one in uh, Next Generation. Both have Scotty in them. Mm -hmm. Don't ask me to explain how that works, time travel shit. Or not, not actually. Yeah, explain time uh, travel. Transport malfunction, which is half of Star Trek, honestly. Yep. Uh, what? What is it? Uh, it's... I can smell the pineapple. It's green. It's green. It is green. I know, I know what you're referencing now. Very nice. That's when they fucking um, and what it wasn't. It wasn't even. It wasn't even Scottish planet. It was Irish planet. Remember when fucking the? Uh, it was when like it was, was it with Scotty or what? Am I thinking of where Clint, where fucking um, Worf got drunk with those with space Irish people. Uh, and they, they're, they're like, oh, the planet's gonna be destroyed. We gotta take this one village, I guess, that's left on the planet. Just one village of stereotypical Irish people. And they put him in the, um, they didn't even give him, like, rooms. They just put him in the fucking, like, the hangar bay. And they're all like, why can't we get any fucking alcohol out of this replicator? And, like, uh, Worf's just like, alright, let me, let me go and get you some fucking, uh... They got him some whiskey, but it was, like, replicated whiskey. So they are like, this isn't shit. And he's like, okay... I'll fucking ramp you up to some fucking Klingon whatever. Well, Klingon bloodline. Yeah, and he was just like, here, try this. And he's like, oh, that's pretty fucking good. And they, like, get drunk and have a, a village-wide fight in the hangar. Starring Worf. I, mean, I, love, I love the super future where they're just like, yeah, fuck it. Do it. I, like, we, we've gotten past... Looks, I assume they've gotten past racism. So, <clears throat> so bring up a five-minute walk to, you know, the medical. Like, you're good. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Uh, um, do they have a... Do they have a Star Trek Cheers that isn't, uh, Cleon? They got a Romulan one? They've got Romulan Ale. They better have a Romulan Cheers. I mostly watched the DS9, to be honest. The, I, I hated that at first, but I, I it, it grew, I, you know, first, I wasn't gonna not watch it. The first <laughs> so season. So I was like, as soon as I got into it, I was like, this is actually really fucking The first good. season's really bad. But if you can get past the first season, a bit of the second season, they're good. After that, it's really solid. All right, well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this might be it. <laughs> That's how you say Cheers and Romulan. These little pictures. Well, Cheers and Romulan. Cheers. Chief O'Brien. Oh, it was... It was not as bad as the other two. I actually kind of like it. It kind of burns a little bit. Really? It kind of, I don't know, maybe it's something to take care of my teeth. If I get it, it feels like it burns a little bit like Listerine, but not minty flavored. If they had a pine, spicy pineapple flavored, maybe that's the spice portion? I really can't taste much of it. Yeah. It's like, kind of like drinking a LaCroix, but with alcohol. <sighs> that's probably exactly what it is. It's a LaCroix with alcohol. <laughs> like you took some water. I mean, also, we sat here talking for so long, most of the fizz is gone, so that's part of it. I got, I got some bubbles. Oh, mine are all gone. Tiny little drops there. What the fuck happened to yours, man? I'll get mine now, man. You poured mine first. Ah, uh, that's true. Damn, that's that's a that's a really quick like carbonization that just fucking wraps up. God damn, that's not serious. I don't like it. I do, I don't like it. It is better than the other two. So that, there's that. Just you raised your hand. I was gonna say that's what White Claw is. White Claw is the alcohol version of uh, Lacroix. Yeah. This is, um, uh, make a little ultra white claw, though, but not really. The pretzels are back to tasting like pretzels. Yeah. Uh, so that's good. You know, if it wasn't the fact that I've already had so much to drink today, I'd probably be all about this, but right now I've had a lot. So yeah. I'm, just I'm not enjoying it whatsoever. I just, it is better than the other two. <laughs> this a, pal is a palate cleanser. Yeah. Oh. So nice. This is very much a nice, casual, out backyard grilling, working around the house, just vibing kind of drink. I'd say for sure. You're not vibing? Shit. I'm always vibing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hashtag Angry Comics. Again, they're always good folks. They didn't pay for this. I, they, I know I'm not in the new store. I know it's been open for fucking ever. 
I, it's just not on my side of town. I'll go out there, I'll get back into magic again. Just fucking give me 10 minutes. Uh, this has been Water Advisory. Now that I've been guilted into not going into going into Adrian Conks later. Um, what was it? We give you options, you can't drink the water. This has been Jack, you can probably see him or you can pay to have him DM your fucking, uh, what was it, D Dungeons and Dragons? Or do you, what, do you do anything else besides D&D or is it just? Uh, currently it's just D&D, but I also have been known to dabble in other things occasionally here and there. Uh, if you want, you can check out my YouTube channel. Uh, feel free if you can find it, which I'll be amazed by because I don't have one. Do you have one? No, it's the joke. Welcome to the joke. I was immediately thinking about the work I had to put in. I was like, oh, great. Now I got to fucking put in this guy's fucking YouTube channel at the bottom. I was like, we didn't agree to this when we started. But <laughs> you need to fucking...